hello my dear students of class 9 we have already completed lesson number 1 that is father's help we will continue with the next lesson of class 10's book that is fable by ralph waldo emerson so who was he ralph waldo emerson who was born in 1803 died in 1882 was an american essayist lecturer and poet his famous poems include Conquered Him and Brahma. So what does fable mean firstly? On the first place, what is fable? A fable is a short story that, that is typically un means given with the characterization of animals which conveys a moral with it. So it basically gives us a lesson of life. Okay. So with the with giving examples of anim animals, the poet wants to give us a lesson. And Emerson here tells us that not to judge others and try to understand that people who are like us also have qualities that we don't have. Suppose uh, you can sing well, you can dance well, which I cannot. Okay. So every human being has separate qualities or everything in this world has qualities okay we should never be prejudiced prejudice means we should never um, be be judged okay you should not judge anyone from very first so the poem describes a conversation between the squirrel and the mountain so you are getting a living thing and a non-living thing the squirrel points out that in this world every being that is living or non-living big or small have their individual reasons for their existence so they have their individual reasons for existence so the mountain i'm reading the poem please follow it the mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel so what does a quarrel means an argument and the former, former means the first, called the latter little prig. Bun replied, you are doubtless very big. So what does the prig means? You can see it in the word nest that one who puts in an appearance of being morally correct. So he tells that you are, the former means the mountain is calling the latter. Latter is the bun or the squirrel. This little prick who knows everything, you are always correct. So he's taunting. Taunting whom? The squirrel. The barn replied, You are doubtless very big. I never deny that you are very big. So it's a contrast. You are small and I am big. You are doubtless very big, but all sorts of things and weather must be taken in together to make up a year and a sphere. So everything is necessary in this world, okay? If you stay, the mountain stay and squirrel, squirrel doesn't say, stay in this world, then it will not be a complete ecosystem. So everything needs to be there to make it a complete biosphere, complete ecosystem. So but all sorts of things and weather must be taken in together to make up a year and a sphere. Sphere means the earth will be made up by all the things all all the beings in this world that is both living and non-living so here what does it says that um, everything is needed to make up this world and i think it no disgrace so the bun is now clearing or the squirrel is now clearing the thing or the um, his his means what will I say his his explanation by telling it it is not a disgrace and I think it no disgrace to occupy my place means it ne it it never undermines himself okay it never underestimate itself the bun or the squirrel never underestimate itself that I am small and I have no disgrace in that okay to occupy my place if i'm not so large as you you are not so small as i so he gives a befitting reply 
that I may be small, but you cannot be small like me. Okay, you are big and I am small. I cannot be big like you. Similarly, you cannot be small like me. So, I have my own reasons to be small. You have your own reasons to be big. And there are several disadvantages. The mountain gets rain. The mountain gets the snowfall. The mountain gets every natural disaster that occurs. But what will the squirrel will, will do? It will hide itself because it is small. So, it has certain advantages. So, every, everything has its own reasons. I will not deny you make and half and not half so spry. You are not so small as I and not half so spry. Means you are not even active like me. You are not even agile like me. Okay. I can spun around everywhere. I can go from here to there. But you cannot. You are, you are standing still. Means the squirrel is replying to the mountain. You are standing still at one place. You cannot move around like me. I will not deny you make a very pretty squirrel track. So the mountain also does what a good thing for the squirrel. It makes a pretty track or pretty roads for whom? For the, for the squirrel because mountain carries forest in it and the squirrel loves to stay in trees. Okay. Talents differ. So what? The skills. The skills of every person differs. You can do one thing, I can do another thing, my friend can do another thing, your friend can do another thing, which we three cannot. So these talents differ. All is well and wisely put. So whatever God has given to us, it is satisfied with us. You need not compare yourself with the other and others may not compare with you. Okay, You have to be yourself. Whatever you do in your life, do it for yourself. Do it for your parents, do it for your elders, do it for your family members. So do it for yourself and not about others. You must help others. That doesn't mean you will not help others. You, will, you obviously will help others. But do not undermine or underestimate anyone in your life. That is the lesson. So talents differ all is well and wisely put. If I cannot carry forest, so how does talents differ here? If I cannot carry forest on my back, so squirrel says, if I cannot carry forest on my back, neither can you crack a nut. So a squirrel, it will easily crack a nut, but can a mountain easily crack a nut? No. So this talents differ. The mountain can carry forest in its back. Will a squirrel can? No. So the squirrel here plays an active part, play, plays a wise part in this poem. The squirrel explains the thing in a very wise way that you being a mountain should not be proud of yourself. So if you are better than me, you should not be proud of yourself. You should remember that every Every, everything in this world has its own reason. There are several disadvantages for you. There are several disadvantages for me. There are several advantages for me and there in several things that you cannot do which I can. This is the lesson the squirrel gives to the readers. Okay. Actually, it's not squirrel. Ralph Waldo Emerson gives us. We will please go through the poem once understand the meaning okay do the word nest learn learn of the word nest i will give you the comprehension exercises okay in the next class thank you have a good day bye bye